Hey, we back. I'm here with PokeCord today and Poke2. Uh, I've been asked a couple of times to make a setup video for them. Um, and while I think this is actually a lot easier than people uh, realize, uh, the only difficult bit is realizing that you have to tell it which channel to set them up in. Uh, but we're going to go through the, the whole thing just to make sure we got everything. So I've got this new server up here. Um, I've invited a couple of people to help out, spam messages, and then we have here a PokeCord channel. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to the website for P PokeCord. Uh, you can find this just by Googling it. Um, I'm going to invite the bot. It's going to ask me uh, which server I want to add it to for confirmation and all that. We're going to authorize. And then we're going to do the same thing for Poke2 as well. As you see on the server, we now have the two bots. Uh, to get them spawning Pokemon, we're going to need to send a couple of commands. Now, when sending commands with these two bots, neither of them got the uh, message intent privileges from Discord, and so they can't read messages when you send them. If you remember uh, back before these messages and chant privileges became a thing, uh, both of these bots would work off the prefix P exclamation mark, um, and as you can see now, they're wanting slash commands. If you want to get around the slash commands, you can do, you just have to ping the bot first. Uh, so we are going to ping PokeCord, um, and then we can type help. And that's going to send uh, the big old help message here. Uh, it's got nine pages and we can flick through them. Um, one thing that we're going to be looking for here is the set spawn command. So as you see, it's got the PokeCord ping uh, in front of every command. So we're going to do PokeCord. We're going to say set spawn and then I'm going to tell it uh, this channel. As you can see, new spawn has been added. It's now going to spawn in Pokemon on this channel. Uh, you can do the same thing if you want a particular channel uh, for level up text. Otherwise, it'll just go into the channel that the messages were sent on. To do the same on Poke2, again, we're going to need to ping it. Uh, for every uh, command that we want to send, we can get the help message up once again. Um, and what we want is the redirect command on this one. So we do PokeCord, uh, we do redirect, and again, we set it to this channel. It should now send all the spawns of Pokemon to this channel. All right, I've got our little helpers here spamming some messages in general. We have Poke2 sending out the first Pokemon, I believe this is an id imp. So yeah, shout outs to uh, Delta, Vastio and Davido for helping out with this one. Um, as you see, it tells you how to uh, catch it. So we're going to go ahead and try that. Uh, we ping it, we type catch. And I can believe it's an id imp. That's the wrong Pokemon. I probably spelt it incorrectly. I did indeed. I just googled it and uh, it is spelt like this. It's still an id imp in my head, but it's got more letters. This one's an easy one though. So we've got... Uh, a catch Growlithe. Ah, it's it's too fast. Oh wait, this is the other one. Wonderful. Catch Growlithe. Wonderful. We got a Growlithe. And then PokeCord has also sent us a Pokemon. This is a Fungus. So we ping the other Co PokeCord bot. Um, and we type catch Fungus. And there we go. We've got that as well. Both of them will continue spawning this channel, as you see. Uh, pretty much indefinitely as long as people keep typing messages. Uh, now, like I say, fun fact about this, uh, these PokeCord bots are uh, going to make sure that it's not just the same one person spamming messages, which is why we have helpers here. Um, at least with PokeCord, you need at least three different people typing messages before it will spawn in any Pokemon at all. Um, I'm not sure how many it requires for Poke2. I've not checked. I don't really use the bot too actively, uh, but it, I wouldn't be surprised if it's also three. Uh, so, of course, if I went into the channel and spammed with them, that would make four. Uh, but we have three people there spamming messages, and that is why the Pokemon will spawn in. If you are finding the Pokemon are not spawning in, even after typing those commands, you probably just don't have enough people sending messages. You need at least three. Uh, this is to stop you having uh, a server just by yourself where you, you spam a bunch of messages and get a bunch of Pokemon to spawn. That will not work. You have to have three people. But as you can see, uh, even with three people, as long as they are indeed spamming messages, you get Pokemon pretty quickly. Uh, so that's that's nice at least. You don't need to be in a big server to get a lot of Pokemon drops. As long as your server is active, that is all that matters. Uh, but anyway, that is the PokeCord setup and Poke2. We did both bots in one because I felt like I might as well. I know you guys would be asking for a Poke2 video if I only did PokeCord. 
Um, so we've done both now, and uh, that that's all I wanted to go over. You've got your Pokemon spawning in. If you want any other information on the bots, I have done other videos um, explaining how the bots work and other such things. So feel free to go and check those out. And for now, I will leave this one here. Bye!